is over. The Miami Heat defeat the Atlanta Hawks 97-94 in game five. They win the series four games to one and advance to the second round. Victor Oladipo, the catalyst for the Heat this evening with 23 points as a starter for Jimmy Butler, who missed with a knee injury. Adebayo had 20 points and 11 rebounds. And for Atlanta, DeAndre Hunter with 35. Really the one bright spot for the Atlanta Hawks was DeAndre Hunter and how well he played. He, he was terrific. But it also speaks to the depth of this Heat team. And defensively, they just compete so hard. How about Victor Oladipo and how well he was able to play in the absence of Jimmy Butler and Kyle Lowry? I tell you what, this second round is setting up to be epic. It, it really is. I, I, I cannot recall ever when you had the semi semifinals of the Eastern Conference, and I felt like all four teams legitimately could win it all. That's how good the top of this Eastern Conference is. All right, let's go to Rebecca Harlow with Victor Oladipo. Thanks, Gus. Vic, very fitting that you end this game with this steal by Adebayo there, but you were covering Trey. There were plenty of time to get a shot off in those last five seconds. Walk me through what the game plan was there. No threes. We knew we was down three, but about five seconds left. We wanted to make it tough, obviously. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Uh, we wanted to make it tough, obviously, but we didn't want him to get no clean looks, funnel everything to the to the paint. PJ did a great job of trapping at the end, which forced a turnover. So it was a great collective win, great team win. It was a great series, but we, we got a lot more basketball left. For sure. The key to this series, though, was the way that you guys were to keep Trey Young out of his rhythm the entire time. When you take a look at the Eastern Conference, you're going to see Philadelphia or Toronto. How much confidence do you have in your defense knowing that you can shut down one of the best players in the game? Um, I mean, we've been playing defense like this all year um, on everybody, really, honestly. And, you know, Trey's a great player, obviously. Uh, we just try to make it tough on him, show him different bodies. And we know the talent is only going to continue to keep getting better as, as the playoffs continue. So we're going to have to have our hard hats on the defensive end and realize that's what fuels us. Victor, when you take a look at the last couple of years, the injuries that you've dealt with, everything that you've been through, can you describe to me how it felt to be on this floor tonight, not just playing, but dominating, controlling, impacting this game. There's nothing I can't handle. There's nothing I can't, I haven't gone through. Uh, man, at the end of the day, I feel like I can come back and get through anything. Uh, so when they told me I needed to start tonight, I just stepped up to the plate and did everything I could to help my team win. And I credit my coaching staff, my teammates for believing in me, my family, my God in heaven for getting me through. And it's only the beginning. Vic, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. 23 points for Victor Oladipo as he leads Miami in scoring tonight. So let's take a look as the Heat win the series four games to one. They advance to the second round where they await the winner of Philly, Toronto. Sixers and the Raptors play a game six in T.O. on Thursday.